step into the world of Park Yong Ho, a boy whose life takes an unexpected turn as he ventures into the bustling city with his mother and sister Chanmi. A new chapter begins as they trade the serenity of a tiny town for the vibrant chaos of the urban landscape. With anticipation in the air, Yong Ho and Chanmi embark on their first day at brand new schools, Yong Ho finding himself in an all-boys institution, and Chanmi stepping into the halls of an all-girls establishment. But amidst the whirlwind of new beginnings, there's a curious twist when a geeky kid named Jin Su finds himself in a precarious situation, facing off against a gang of school bullies led by none other than the notorious Ki Te. As they demand his pocket money, Jin Su valiantly refuses and the tension rises. It's at this very moment that our protagonist, Yong Ho, stumbles upon the scene. His heart races with uncertainty as he becomes an unwitting witness to this dramatic confrontation. However, he simply stood there and did nothing before leaving. When class starts, it is discovered that Yong Ho is sitting close to Jin Su. During the break, Ki Tae reappeared and warned Jin Su about reporting him to the school counselor. Yong Ho, who was standing close to Jin Su, then gave Ki Tae a pointed look, as if he were offended by how Yong Ho seemed to be confronting him. Ki Tae then threatened Yong Ho not to harm him if he wanted to survive. Rather than being alarmed by Ki Tae's threat, Yong Ho simply grinned at him. Jin Su asked Yong Ho to be more cautious with Ki Tae after he and his gang left. Yong Ho was taken aback when he heard Ki Tae's name. Ki Tae's name reminded him of a childhood acquaintance, and it was true that Yong Ho and Ki Tae had attended the same elementary school. After school, Yong Ho happened upon a boxing training center and became interested in boxing. When he walked inside the gym, there was no one present, so he took advantage of the opportunity to check out some equipment. After a while, the owner of the gym arrived and chastised him for using his equipment without authorization. Yong Ho then expressed an interest in enrolling in the training center. The coach then handed him a form to fill out and said he could begin training the next day, but Yong Ho stated that he wanted to start today. Yong Ho began boxing with zeal and commitment from that day forward. Later that night, Yong Ho was concerned since his sister had not yet returned home. He then contacted her and begged her to come home soon, but Chanmi refused since she still wanted to spend time with her boyfriend at the karaoke club. Yong Ho became irritated and determined to go locate her. Yong Ho ran across Ki Tae and his companions in the middle of the road. Ki Tae's friend called and invited him to come. Ki Tae then inquired for his name, and when Yong Ho responded that it was Park Yong Ho, he realized Yong Ho was his childhood friend. Ki Tae then invited him to join him for a drink while they reminisce about their childhood. Ki Tae inquired about Yong Ho's parents, and informed him that his father had died. Yong Ho later stated that he had to depart after recounting anecdotes and reminiscing about their upbringing. Yong Ho eventually tracked down Chan Mi, who was having fun with her boyfriend. He then called her and immediately took her home. Chan Mi, on the other hand, snapped and became enraged at her brother's behavior. Yong Ho, she claimed, was very tough with her. Yong Ho invited Jin Su to his place the next day because he wanted Jin Su to help him study math. Yong Ho was hungry since he was unable to follow Jin Su's explanation during study time. Yong Ho then requested that Jin Su join him for noodles. While eating the noodles, Jin Su inquired as to why Yong Ho was so eager to study arithmetic. Then Yong Ho explained that it was his father's wish. His father expected him to work hard in school. Yong Ho and Jin Su became fast friends after that. Ki Tae and his friends were having fun and partying in a karaoke bar. A group of third-year students led by the bald guy, Chun Gil, arrived unexpectedly and disrupted them. Ki Tae and his pals could only remain resigned in the face of the arrival of Chun Gil and his companions since he did not dare to fight back against his seniors. Yong Ho watched one of the pupils being trained by the coach at the boxing training center and appeared envious of him because the coach let him work on his own. But it didn't deter him, so he practiced on his own by mimicking the motions taught to the other youngster by the coach. Ki Tae's gang bullied Jin Su again the next day, and when Yong Ho saw the incident, he tried to defend Jin Su. Finally, a fight broke out in the classroom. Yong Ho beat up the bullies one by one and easily defeated them. Ki Tae was taken aback when he saw Yong Ho, a skilled fighter. He then told him not to interfere with his company, or Yong Ho would never feel at ease in school. Following Ki Tae's departure, a student called Sang Hoon thanked Yong Ho for having the courage to confront Ki Tae's gang. Meanwhile, Ki Tae chastised his pals because he was ashamed of what Yong Ho had done to his gang members. One of Ki Tae's friends then proposed that they return to Yong Ho to protect his gang's honor. Ki Tae remained silent after hearing his friend's idea, as if he didn't want to respond rashly. On the way home from school, Sang Hoon, who had been waiting for Yong Ho, introduced Yong Ho to his friend, Hak Su. Apparently, Hak Su was astounded by what Yong Ho had done with his martial arts skills to save Jin Su and halt Ki Tae's gang. Later, Yong Ho, Sang Hoon, 
and Hak Su headed to a food booth for lunch. Sang Hoon and Hak Su both despise Ki Tae for bullying the weak students at school. Yang Ho drove Sang Hoon and Hak Su to the gym after they had lunch together. While they were there, Yang Ho stated that he was terrified of Ki Tae because he had always been a bully. Sang Hoon and Hak Su tell him that he is not weak and that he is capable of dealing with Ki Tae. Chun Gil beat up Ki Tae's gang members the other day because Ki Tae gave him so little money. Ki Tae then explained that their activities had been reported to the school board, so they should be cautious. Chun Gil, on the other hand, didn't care for any cause. Yang Ho went to his mother's business after school, and when he arrived, he witnessed his mother being enticed by the shop's visitors. Yang Ho had planned to beat up those men, but he decided against it because he had promised his mother not to fight. Yang Ho eventually decided to go to a boxing gym and work out his frustrations through boxing. Following the training, Yang Ho happened to see Ki Tae's girlfriend, Hei Jin, in front of a motel. Hei Jin denied her senior's invitation to have fun with him at the time, but he persisted. Yang Ho observed the incident and chose not to intervene before walking away. After successfully escaping from her senior, Hei Jin approached Yang Ho and questioned why he didn't aid her, but Yang Ho remained silent and went on his journey home. On his way home, Yang Ho spotted a boy shouting at his sister and hit him without thinking twice, but Chanmi chastised him because he had harmed her boyfriend. Ki Tae and his gang are back at it, this time asking their victim to steal his mother's money and then hand it over to them. Meanwhile, Sang Hoon and Hak Su encouraged Yang Ho to skip class and smoke a few cigarettes in their school's backyard. While smoking, Yang Ho inquired about a Yang Jin high school student named Yung Il, and Sang Hoon stated that Yung Il was well known for being a vicious bully. Yang Ho then stated that Jung Il was his sister's lover and that he had a fight with him the night before because Jung Il had hurt his sister. Yang Ho's bravery astounded Hak Su and Sang Hoon. Hei Jin asked Yang Ho to accompany her home after school, and she invited Yang Ho to meet her buddy, but Yang Ho declined the invitation. A short time later, they were unexpectedly confronted by Ki Tae and his crew. Ki Tae shouted out to Hei Jin and abruptly leaned in to kiss her in front of Yang Ho and his buddies after seeing his girlfriend with Yang Ho. Ki Tae appears to have done this on purpose in order to inform Yang Ho that she was his girlfriend. Yang Ho, on the other hand, didn't appear to mind and went away. Ki Tae gave back the looted money to Chun Gil the next day at school, and after collecting the money from Ki Tae, Chun Gil warned Ki Tae to be wary of a senior named Sang Ki. On his way home, Yang Ho was unexpectedly stopped by classmates from Young Jin High School. They sought to avenge Yang Ho's recent assault on Young Il. Then there was a three-on-three fight. Yang Ho appeared to be overpowered by his opponents, who outnumbered him. Fortunately, Sang Hoon and Hak Su arrived just in time to assist him. The trio eventually defeated the students of Young Jin High School. Yang Ho has increased his boxing practice since the bullying incident involving his Young Jin High School classmates. He does not miss a single day of exercise. He tried everything he could to get tougher and be able to face those bullies. Yang Ho and his three pals went to a convenience store after school one day and bought some food and beverages. Ki Tae and his gang approached them while they were eating the goodies they had purchased in front of the convenience store. Ki Tae released his rage on Yang Ho, who had recently gained fame for his fortitude in the face of bullies. Sang Hoon attempted to fight Ki Tae, claiming that there was nothing wrong with Yang Ho's move, but Ki Tae responded by throwing a drink can in his face. Yang Ho then urged his companions to leave in order to avoid a brawl. Yang Ho and his companions then debated what they should do to put an end to Ki Tae and his gang's violence. Hak Su encouraged Yang Ho to assault Ki Tae, but Yang Ho remained silent and said his goodbyes to his pals. Yang Ho ran across Hei Jin again on the way home. After that, Hei Jin invited Yang Ho to supper. Yang Ho drove Hei Jin home after supper, but Hei Jin kissed him on the way. Hei Jin stated that she was growing fond of him. Yang Ho was taken aback by Hei Jin's declaration of love for him. Yang Ho then proceeded to his mother's shop, where he observed her being harassed once more by a lustful man. But this time, he'd had enough, he couldn't contain his rage any longer. When the pervert left his mother's shop, Yang Ho caught him and whipped him. The following day, Sang Hoon and Hak Su rush over to challenge Ki Tae and his crew to a fight. Before the battle, Ki Tae receives a call from Hei Jin, urging him to end their relationship. Ki Tae, who was sad because he had broken up with his lover, released his rage at Sang Hoon and Hak Su. Ki Tae and his group then ganged up on Sang Hoon and Hak Su, severely injuring them. Yang Ho inquired as to what had happened to the two of them, and Hak Su responded that Yang Ho should know without asking. Hak Su then inquired as to why Yang Ho remained silent and did not confront Ki Tae. Was Yang Ho afraid of him? Ki Tae and his group are harassing Jin Su once more. They thrashed him so hard that he had to be hospitalized. After that, Yang Ho, Sang Hoon, and Hak Su went to see Jin Su in the hospital.
They were astonished to see how terribly injured Jin Su was. Yet despite having his hand shattered and his face badly injured, Jin Su managed to grin and say he was okay. Yang Ho's rage had reached its peak. Ki Tai's outlandish behavior is too much for him to bear. Sang Hoon then summoned Yang Ho and Hak Su to avenge Ki Tae and his gang, as well as Hak Su, who was also planning to destroy Ki Tae. Yang Ho and his friends launched their revenge on Ki Tae and his gang. Yang Ho and his companions headed to the location where Ki Tae and his gang used to congregate. They challenged Ki Tae and his group to a fight as soon as they arrived. A heated conflict erupted, with each attempting to triumph. Yang Ho and his buddies eventually defeated Ki Tae and his gang with all their strength. Yang Ho and his friends have been pursued by Sang Ki's group since the defeat of Ki Tae and his gang, but Yang Ho and his friends are no longer afraid, they are ready to face the bullies who disrupt their quiet life. Chun Gil who was furious because Yang Ho had defeated Ki Tae and his group, then directed his men to seek out Yang Ho in his class, but none of Yang Ho's classmates could tell them where he was. Yang Ho was smoking a cigarette with Sang Hoon and Hak Su. Yang Ho is now a student who is feared by bullies but admired by his peers after overcoming Ki Tae and his gang. Jin Su appeared out of nowhere and informed him that Chun Gil's boys were looking for him. Yang Ho and his buddies rushed to find Chun Gil and settle the dispute between them. Following the brawl, Yang Ho and his classmates were summoned by their homeroom teacher to accept responsibility for their actions. Their teacher then told them not to make the same mistakes again, otherwise, the school would expel them. Ki Tae and his gang's demise did not spell the end of bullying at their school. Chun Gil, who was supposed to have been detained for raising a commotion in a public location, delegated leadership to his friend Sung Tae. Sung Tae disciplined all of Ki Tae's boys that afternoon because they had lost the fight against Yang Ho and his buddies. According to Sung Tae, their setback had tarnished their gang's reputation. Sung Tae's rage grew when he discovered that Ki Tae had skipped school when he should have been punished much harsher than his gangmates. Soon later, Sung Tae and his gang approached Yang Ho in his classroom and invited him to join them on the rooftop during recess. He wouldn't hesitate to beat up Yang Ho if he didn't show up. After that, Yang Ho and his pals headed up to the rooftop to meet Sung Tae. When they arrived, Sung Tae informed Yang Ho that his intention was not to fight but rather to invite Yang Ho to join his group. Yang Ho instantly declined the offer, stating that he did not want to be a gang member. Sung Tae, irritated, requested that Yang Ho reconsider his choice. In the school cafeteria, Yang Ho and his buddies discussed how they could deal with Sung Tae and his group. If they joined Sung Tae's group, they would become Sung Tae's minions. Yang Ho went to the boxing gym right after school to exercise and relieve his stress. When Yang Ho finished his training, he returned home. On the way, he encountered a group of schoolgirls who were having a cigarette party, and one of them looked to be interested in Yang Ho, but Yang Ho ignored her and continued his route home. A man named Chang Ho got into an argument with high school kids who were also playing billiards at a billiard club. The high school kids then tried to gang up on him, forcing Chang Ho to turn to violence and attack them. Sung Tae and his gang arrived a few moments later to discover that the high school kids involved in the brawl with Chang Ho were his boys. Sung Tae immediately attacked Chang Ho after witnessing his group in such a bad situation. Dae Chun, a new pupil at school, has arrived. Dae Chun accidentally ran into Hak Su on his first day of school. Instead of apologizing to Hak Su, Dae Chun simply walked away from the incident, which irritated Hak Su. Hak Su intended to beat him up, but Yang Ho intervened. A schoolgirl named Min Jung conned a man one night. Min Jung seized the man's money after she had duped him. After being duped by Min Jung, the man pursued her and was about to beat her up. At the same time, Yang Ho, who happened to be nearby, dashed to Min Jung's aid. After removing the man, Yang Ho warned Min Jung to be extra cautious. Min Jung then thanked Yang Ho for his assistance. The next day, Min Jung informed her friends that Yang Ho had assisted her the night before and that she wanted to get to know him better. Min Jung then met Yang Ho and casually invited Yang Ho to go on a date and become her lover in order to carry out her plan. Yang Ho who was unsure how to respond to Min Jung's surprising proposition, finally agreed to be her boyfriend. The two of them then dated until the evening, when Chan Mi accidentally discovered it. Chan Mi then mocked her brother, since Yang Ho had never been close to a girl in his life. The next day, Sung Tae's group approached Yang Ho for more money. At the same moment, Dae Chun arrived and ordered them to halt what they were doing, but the bully gang refused to comply. They then attacked Dae Chun, but the silent Dae Chun proved to be an excellent fighter, even defeating Sung Tae's boys. Sung Tae reprimanded his gangmates once more for continuously losing fights, and he was enraged with Dae Chun for humiliating his gang. Sung Tae intended exact vengeance for all of these instances. Yang Ho and his friends sat together at a restaurant as usual. They had a good time eating and talking. Sang Hoon then had the notion to form an anti-bullying group to assist weak pupils who are bullied. Yang Ho agreed to the proposal right away. 
Sung Tae went to Jong Ho to ask who had assisted him and attacked his boys the other day, and just then, Dae Chun, the person he was seeking, appeared, and Sung Tae was astonished to see him. Dae Chun, it turns out, is a dear friend who used to be in his gang. Sung Tae and Dae Chun were previously involved in a gang battle with kids from another high school, and Dae Chun's leg was badly hurt in that incident. They were taking a break under the bridge when the police arrived to arrest them. When the cops arrived, Sung Tae and his buddies fled, leaving Dae Chun behind due to his damaged leg. Dae Chun was eventually detained by police and suspended from school. Dae Chun has severed his friendship with Sung Tae as a result of the occurrence. Yang Ho and Jin Su practiced boxing together after school. Dae Chun arrived a short while later and greeted them both. Sung Tae's boys were concerned when they discovered Yang Ho and Dae Chun's friendship. They believe that Yang Ho and Dae Chun's combined powers will be unbeatable. When Sung Tae learned about Yang Ho and Dae Chun's friendship, he decided to meet with Dae Chun to deal with him. Yang Ho and his buddies were having fun at a karaoke club, and Min Jung and Dae Chun joined them, but Dae Chun went home first. After a while, Sang Hoon and his friends noticed Sung Tae and his gang pursuing Dae Chun. Sang Hoon and his friends agreed to follow the group in secret because they were afraid something awful would happen to Dae Chun. Sung Tae attacked Dae Chun, confirming his concerns. Dae Chun quickly countered the attack, and he managed to overwhelm Sung Tae. Dae Chun couldn't fight them all alone since so many of Sung Tae's boys attacked him at once. They mobbed him and attacked him from behind. Fortunately, Sang Hoon and his companions arrived and raced to Dae Chun's aid. The sheer quantity of Sung Tae's boys made the battle unbalanced. Dae Chun, Sang Hoon, and his allies were outnumbered and were surrounded, losing the fight. Fortunately, Jin Su was able to escape and quickly run to Yang Ho. Jin Su informed him that Sung Tae's gang was ganging up on Sang Hoon. When Yang Ho heard this, he dashed to aid his comrades. With his kicks, Yang Ho jumped on Sung Tae and managed to knock him down. Sung Tae and his gang were eventually vanquished. Yang Ho and his comrades are now much feared by other school gangsters after defeating Sung Tae and his gang, and they have also become the major overlords in their school. They now control the rooftop of the school building that was formerly controlled by Sung Tae and his gang. A man is seen lecturing Sung Tae for his defeat at the end of the film. As it turns out, Sung Tae is not the true gang leader because there is someone more powerful than him above him. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.